If you are a fresher and you want to get a cloud job, what are some things you need to keep in mind? In this video, we are going to go over those. I'm a senior solutions architect working at AWS. Yes, I work for world's largest and leading cloud provider, but I haven't started my career there. I switched my career from legacy technology to the cloud. I have also taken over 100 cloud interviews, both for experienced professionals as well as freshers. So whatever I'm going to share today is from my own experience and from all the interactions and working with freshers. So this all works. Can freshers become a solutions architect? Yes, but there are caveats. There are two kinds of solutions architect jobs. One is at pre-sales solutions architect. Second, a solutions architect at a development project. The pre-sales solutions architect, you will work in a product company. You will work with your end customers and help them onboard into that particular product. If you are a fresher and you want to become a SA, this is your best bet. However, the number of jobs may be less than some other areas and I'm going to go over that. The second kind of solutions architect is a solutions architect in directly in the development projects. In this case, you will work in the project, you will start from the beginning of the project to the design, to development, implementation, etc. This is harder because working in a development project requires a deeper understanding of the system design. You have to know from the learnings from your past projects as well as you need to have the power to influence others to follow your design. Couple of things to keep in mind if you are an SA. In SA, there are some things that are not in your control. So you come up with the design and then you have to convince and influence other to follow the design. No design is foolproof. Every design with a pros and con. As an SA, you need to pick the design which is best based on the priorities. There will be times when there will be some counter arguments. So you need to know how to navigate all those. Also, the cycles are long. So you'll start from the designing, it will go through some time and then they will get implemented. So what is the best job to get in to the cloud as a fresher? DevOps, SRE or Site Reliability Engineer, Infrastructure Engineer, they have the maximum amount of open position for freshers to get into cloud. Whereas the SA function, some of these things are not in your control and cycles are a little longer, the DevOps, SRE, this Infrastructure Engineer, most of the things will be in your control. For example, you need to create a CI-CD pipeline. You need to create an automation. You need to create a monitoring solution. If something goes wrong, you need to create an alerting system. So these things, the cycles are short. Everything is in your control. Once this task is assigned to you, you go work heads down, you produce the output. And your output is tangible and easier to measure. And as part of this, you will also pick up some hard skills. Also, this kind of job function does not require you to have a past experience of implementing a project. And this kind of job function does not require you to have a lot of previous experience as well as you don't need to have all the soft skills and organizational skills to influence a bunch of people. Which brings me to the next point. And this is very, very underrated in the social media world. But in real world project, everyone knows this. Hard IT skills are very, very critical. All the great essays that I work with, they all have these hard IT skills. These skills come if you have worked in a development project. What are these skills such as database, system design, microservices, API design pattern, coding, testing, automation, etc. Remember that at the end of the day, cloud is a platform. When you deal with an actual project, all these components come into play. So whether you work in an on-premises project, if you develop these hard IT skills, you will carry them throughout your life and you will be able to switch career, you will be able to jump into cloud as well as some other future technology that comes into play. For example, you are working in a database in your on-premises project. So as part of that, you will learn how to design tables, how to do performance tuning, how to write SQL queries to those tables, how to do things like sharding, partitioning, etc. Even if your project moves to cloud, you will deal with those same concepts. So if you understand those concepts, you can carry those over. Similarly, if you know the system design concepts, how to put together a three-tier system, the concepts remain same. All you need to know is the cloud services. Tomorrow, if some new system comes out, the three-tier will survive. The database, the system design, the API concepts, they will stay consistent. All you need to know is learn the new technology. 
So very, very important that you learn these hard IT skills because your value will go up exponentially if you learn these skills. Next best kept secret is most of the time freshers interview are based on your communication and general cognitive ability, especially if you are from tier one college. For the tier one colleges, once you get hired, you have the liberty to learn AWS. But that's not the same if you are in tier two and tier three college. The competition will be higher. So you need to understand AWS services. You have to do some hands-on project as well as your communication needs to be good. But what AWS services should you learn? This brings me to the next point. It is impossible to learn all AWS services. And the trick is in the interview, no one expects you to know all these services. Even the folks like me who are living and breathing AWS, we don't know all the services. So don't create unnecessary expectation on yourself that you need to know a lot of AWS services. As a fresher, you need to know certain compute, storage, networking, and security services in that order of importance. Most of your interview questions, as well as your time in real world projects will be spent on these four areas. Now, what kind of hands-on projects should you do? So I have a separate video on that. I'll put the link in the description. So make sure you watch that. Now, what if you cannot get a job on cloud? That's totally fine. Focus on those hard skills on IT that I said. Once you have those, you will be able to switch to cloud or any other future technology. Also remember, there are many paths to success. Some will achieve success via remote job from the beginning. Some will achieve success by gaining experience. Some will achieve success via getting a job at a fan company. Some will achieve success by switching career like me. Focus on learning the hard skills and the soft skills. Allow yourself time. Make a goal for next three years. Be patient. Keep working at it and you will achieve success. On that note, let's go.